Hi there, this is Steve Morrell with another edition of the Argentine Tango Deep Listening Project. Do you want to dance with a deeper connection to tango music? The Deep Listening Project offers tips to help you do just that. In this video we'll focus on the 1963 recording by Florinda Sassoni, Pescadores de las Perlas. The tango is based on an operatic aria written a hundred years earlier by Georges Bizet. Tune into the musical storyline. It's conveyed to you in small, intimate messages that last the length of a breath. Sassoni turns the operatic aria into an Argentine tango. As tango dancers, our art demands that we master several complex processes. Physicality, the moves, posture, axis and balance. Musicality, interpreting the music through shared movement. Collaboration, both dancers become one dancer with four legs by communicating physical and musical intention. To do this, both dancers must allow the music to become the only leader in the room. Music is made up of layers. The most clearly heard layer is the rhythmic beat. But if we only concentrate on the beat, our listening focus is too narrow. If we lose concentration as we dance and merely hear a tango, our focus is too wide or lost altogether. So how can we stay focused on the music? All tango music is written and performed following a similar structure called a musical schema. To become music, sound is organized like spoken or written language. We structure words in sentences, paragraphs and chapters. Music is structured in phrases and themes, making short, intimate messages that last the length of a breath, like the line of lyrics in a song or a poem. And it's by focusing on these shorter messages that we can find inspiration and meaning and connection in our dance to the music. Pescadores de las Perlas is organized into five sections. Here, the graphic is showing the, the waveform, the timeline of the music, which lasts just over three minutes. But those three minutes are divided into the equivalent of the chapters of a story, A and B. But as you can see here, the A is repeated once, twice, three times, four times.
We've been brought up hearing musical repetition. Songs use a verse, chorus, verse, chorus structure, where the chorus is always the same. Storytelling uses repetition to engage and involve the listener. Once upon a time. Think of the five sections shown here as chapters in the story of this tango. Recall this structure when the track is played in a few minutes. I'll help you listen out for when each chapter starts and finishes.